morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers out there, wherever you're at. Uh, when I started this, it was 4.44 a.m. So, this is a, an emergency broadcast. I would recommend, and I will try to get links for these, but look up Pastor Joe Fox, Viking Preparedness. Watch his last few videos. He did an emergency broadcast, and I'm just following up on that. He is a big YouTuber, Shofar Mountain. He's the reason I'm on YouTube. He recommended, told me to get on YouTube, encouraged me, gave me a few pointers, and I ran with it. Um, I was already on as far as my Jerry Diamond, but I got more into it. Anyway, Lynn Leaz, L-E-A-Z-L-Y-N, L-E-A-Z might be, anyway, I'll try to put a link, but look her up. Uh, she's got a thing on, um, a video on UN troops coming in and whatnot, just a, a heads up, emergency plans. I think it's entitled, oh, I know the title of it is, um, Military Letter Talks about, you know, UN coming in, taking over. Just a lot of others. Dave Hodges, I've always respected him very highly. Talking about um, Russia. Also, uh, what Pastor Joe Fox and Dave Hodges talk about, and probably many, many others, is Russia has ordered everyone around the world to bring their families home. Bring students home immediately. Do not wait. Bring, if they have parents abroad, bring them home. Embassy people are, I don't know, they didn't mention the embassies being shut down. Uh, ambassadors being brought home, but uh, they're getting ready for war. Doesn't mean they're going to start it. Doesn't mean they're going to finish it. Just means they're getting ready for it. Um, so... I'm going to say, pull out all the stops. And I've made a, a lot of videos talking about Ozark Plateau um, directives. Take this as a directive. Take it as a direct order. It's your life. Your life is in your hands. Your family's life is in your hands. Um, every one of you out there that hears this, could do something instead of twiddling your thumbs remained firmly sitting on your ass and um, you could do something that would not only save your life and your family's life but it would save the life of maybe tens of other people or dozens hundreds some of you have the capability to save a thousand lives but you're just you're not going to do it you're going to throw your own life away so, um, why am I doing this laying in bed? Because it's cold. <laughs> it's 4 o'clock in the morning. There's no heat. And I just want to get it done. And I'm going to try to post it. I can post by uh, 4G. So, whoever, however, wherever you're at, I would say cut your losses, burn your bridges, get the hell out of the cities. If you don't know by now, if you haven't listened to me enough, I'm going to tell you, if you want to stay alive, get out of the cities, okay? The number one rule of survival is this. Get out of the cities. The number two rule of survival is get out of the cities. And the number three rule of survival is I think you can figure it out. Get out of the cities. By and large, for most people, cities are going to be death traps. Now, there's a few people, oddball patriot preppers and militia types, that are going to plan on hanging out there in the city and waging warfare. Well, it's possible. Military operations, urbanized terrain, you can read the book. It's online, I'm sure. 
M O U T. This is what our military has been preparing for in this country to wage war on American citizens. And that is what the um, YouTubes are about Lynn Laos and uh, Pastor Joe Fox and whatnot. Confirmed letters from military people planning on waging warfare against American troops, renegade American troops, har, 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 in this country. Jade Helm 15 is now progressed to Jade Helm 15 on freaking steroids. It's called Unex, U-N-E-X or something like that, 16. And I'm sure that has just as dire and sinister and bizarre and horrific ramifications is what Jade Helm stood for. So look it up. Listen to it. Deal with it. Get out of the cities. Get off the coasts. Get away from the borders. Uh, get away from the edge of the Craton. Get west of the Mississippi. Everything east of the Mississippi at some point in the future will probably be one gigantic zombie apocalypse. Invasion. Uh, tsunamis. Whatever. Yeah, I'm looking down the road a ways. I don't care. It's what I've been given to do. You can listen, you can act, or you can die. <sighs> I've said for a lot of years now, drive now or walk later. Chances are a lot better driving now to keep your goods, your gear, the tools, your equipment your weapons, your family intact. You wait too long. Uh, if you show up here with the shirt on your back. You'll probably be a bit more of a problem than you could have been. If you're good people. If you're bad people, stay away. <laughs> you won't last long. But, uh, you know, it'll be a Life is going to change here very quickly. Yeah, I'm rambling. I'm tired. i got to start digging tomorrow to make a greenhouse rocket stove. And I have decided <clears throat> I'm going to do an in-ground rocket stove just for the heck of it, just because, just for starters, just to do it. Just to, it'll be my third one. I'm going to make it the best one, make it work. And it'll be cheap and easy. And if I get the materials to build the other one in time, so be it. If we run the thing through the winter with this one, so be it. But it'll give more people the knowledge of how to do it. I want to video it as I do it. <clears throat> and it'll show people that it can be done to heat a Walmart tent or a camper or a cardboard box with a rocket stove that was put in the ground and you can sleep on the warm ground. I'm wanting to actually do one right under the trailer here, get it up tubing, run it from corner to corner diagonally under it, put a <clears throat> skirt the trailer, which I've got skirting for, and warm the floor. <laughs> It'll warm the trailer up nicely. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling, I know. I'm going to get it posted. Uh, I'm basically saying this as a, uh, if you've been listening to me for any length of time, make a change in your life, get the hell out of the city, head here to the Ozark Plateau. If you think you got a plan A and it doesn't work out for you and your plan B don't work out and your plan C don't work out if you had one, plan D is head for the Ozarks. And that's if you're good people. If you're dumb won't make it here anyway. But if you make it here by the grace of God, there are thousands upon thousands of people here waiting for you to help you. So don't go to the Pacific Northwest. Do not go to the readout states. That is a lost cause. It was lost before it ever started. The people heading it up do not have the collective 
mental brain power to, let's see, light up a uh, shingle battery, AAA battery, rechargeable LED light. And I could name names, but I'm not going to. But the people that have told you to go to the Pacific Northwest, to the readout states, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, <coughs> Eastern Washington, Eastern Oregon, around in there, Cascadia. Sorry, sorry, excuses for leaders. Sorry, excuses for any kind of thinking capability. They have no strategy in their thinking whatsoever. They are maybe a little bit tactical, but they do not have the capability and should not be telling people where to go and what to do. They're going to kill a whole bunch of people, including you if you listen to them. Don't listen to them. Alrighty, that's it. This is Jerry Diamond. If you are listening to this, you are the remnant. Goodbye.